I've known Tessa since she was a, quote, student at the Yellow Barn Festival in uh, Putney, Vermont. And I just remember some absolutely galvanizing performances. As an artist, she has that rare ability to combine such a brilliant intellect and just genuine, sincere, heartfelt music making. She has great imagination. So she can be egged on, like, you know, pushed just a little further. And so I'm so excited about this CD. This is my very first album, and it's very much in thanks to the Lenore Annenberg Fellowship Fund. Um, a couple of years ago, I was awarded this grant kind of out of nowhere, and they asked me what I might do with this money, and my proposed project was a recording. <laughs> Tessa chose uh, such a varied program filled with just some of the pieces that we love the most. I am very passionate about um, programming interesting recitals, not for the sake of being interesting, but something that just kind of holds together for any reason, harmonically or structurally in the music or historically, maybe something runs together with these pieces. And um, obviously these are all fantasies and rhapsodies, but I also feel that each one captures an incredibly different style in the music. Recording an album is quite a challenge in many beautiful ways. Many details have to be in place, yet the challenge is at every second we're trying to make magic. Uh, do you ever have us together, Judy, the second beat of eight? Yes. Okay. It's very tough to capture that same energy because it's not quite about that. It's also about um, just documenting music in a moment in time. There are some things that she did that just touched me so much, colors she made. Uh, so I'm really excited to have the CD come out.